Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'll demonstrate some of the most impressive features a code assistant has to offer. Let's kick things off with one of the coolest features, creating invalid test data to bombard your test target. Here you go, over a dozen different types of invalid email addresses, ready for you to copy and paste right into your test script. We're talking about invalid bank account numbers, zip codes, international postal codes, IBAN numbers, and pretty much anything else you can think of. Destroying a web application has never been this easy. Now let's talk about the bread and butter of code assistance, code completion. As you're typing, Amazon Q suggests code snippets. It suggested a test I've been working on lately. Just slap some parentheses at the end and you're good to go. But let's take it a step further. How about asking the assistant to write an entire test script for us? I've got a simple static test site here with fields for an email and a zip code. While Amazon Q can analyze your entire code base, the easiest way to get accurate locators and error messages is to send part of the HTML source code to the prompt. This section of the test page handles the email, zip code, and submit button. It also displays the error messages that we'll need to verify the application's response. This way our AI buddy nails the locators and error messages on the first try. And don't forget to mention that the zip code is a required field. And look at that, here's the test script. Let's go over it to make sure everything's on point. You'll want to double check the locators and error messages just to be safe. The test site address is an example value. It's quicker to fix that ourselves than to explain it to the AI. Looks solid. Let's go ahead and run this test and see what happens. And there we have it. Seems like our email validator needs some work. We've got eight failed tests where invalid email addresses were accepted. A fantastic feature for beginners is the ability to get explanations for any part of your code. If you're unsure about a specific section, simply highlight it and click Explain to get a detailed breakdown. This is especially helpful when you're working with unfamiliar languages or frameworks, or when you encounter a gnarly regex pattern. If there's an error in your code that you can't figure out, you can ask the assistant to troubleshoot it. Let's create an error by removing this await and see if the assistant can spot the issue. Bingo! 
it caught that the locator method is asynchronous and needs that await. Now if you're new to test automation and struggling with writing locators for web elements, don't worry, you can just send the web element to the assistant and ask it to generate a good locator for you. If you want it in a specific syntax, just ask, and you shall receive. You can also let the AI refactor your tests. Let's give it a shot with this section of code. It's telling us that the improvements focus on modularization, reusability, and flexibility. Here's the refactored code. It grouped some of the test steps into their own methods. If you like this structure, feel free to experiment with it. For more extensive codebase modifications, explore the dev and transform commands. For instance, you can easily convert your test set to a page object model. Keep in mind that these commands may take a few minutes to run, and their usage is limited on a free account. Now let's talk about the last feature in Amazon Q's menu, Optimize. Sadly, this didn't work so well with Playwright. The code was optimized but the test results were off, where we had 8 failing tests, the optimized tests only reported 1. I suspect it's a timing issue, as test frameworks can be a bit flaky sometimes. So, if you want to try optimization, just make sure you're getting consistent test results. Lastly, let me show you how to bring all this magic into your own code editor. Head over to Visual Studio Code's extensions, search for Amazon Q and install it. You'll be redirected to the AWS login page. If you don't have credentials yet, you can create an account. Right now Amazon Q is free for individual developers and has affordable options for businesses. There you have it folks, AI-powered test automation at your fingertips. Happy testing and may your bugs be ever in your favor.